Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about static and dynamic use of Gage Visual in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Gage Visual is a radial gauge visual has a circular arc which shows a single value that measures progress towards a goal or a key performance indicator. And this is the diagram of a gate visual. In this we will have three values. One is the target value which looks like a needle line. Another is the total progress. In that, what the actual we have achieved, it will be highlighted in different colors. Let's go into the practical now. This is my Power BI file. And then I have two gate visual here. Let's go with the first one which is from database. In the visualization pan, you will have this icon as a cage. Click on that, it will bring up here. And in that, I have a table, sales table with the salespersons. And this is a table structure. Salesperson, target, actual, the minimum target and the maximum target and minimum target and then sales person the difference. 5000 is the target, he achieved 5900, so it is on plus 900 and whereas here, minus 500 because it is shortfall of 500. Click on the gauge visual, on the fields menu, on the visualization pane, you have these values. In the value section, I drag and drop the actual value. In the minimum, I put the minimum value, that is 50 and the maximum value is 6000. Because if they achieved beyond the 6000, they will get the incentives. Just as an example scenario. In the target, the target is 5000. So tooltip, I use the first person. That's it. If I bring up here, it will use as this data. So this is slicer, I want to filter it by single user. So click on that. So there he, they achieved 5900. Instead of 5, so it is showing it green. For the Joe, is 5200. For John, he achieved less. So it is highlighted in red color. Because the target has not been achieved here. For the Kim, it is, he achieved more than the maximum. So he will get the incentive. For the Mike, he has not achieved. And for Sam, he also got more than the maximum. So now, let's go into the formatting options. What are the options available here? So click on the format on the visualization tab. So in this you will have this option. The first is gauge axis. There is nothing here. We will discuss about this later on. And then the next is data colors. In data colors you have two options. One you can go with the static one. Or you can use the conditional formatting. I use the conditional formatting here. So click on that. On the three dot eclipse. It will open up a window here. So I use the sales percentage which value is greater than or equal to, you know, is less than zero, I use this value. So if you look at this sales percentage, DAX calculation, I use sales percentage, sum of actual minus the target. If it is less than zero, then it will show as great. If it is greater than zero, it will show as green. That's by default. Now okay. back to this one, data colors, and then the target. Target nothing but the needle. The showing as 5000 here. If you change the color you want to change, you can change the color as well. I want to keep it default, that is black. Even you can use this target in the condition formatting as well. And then the next is data labels. The data label colors, if you want to make it black, you can make it black. And unit of measurement, if you want to change, you can. Decimal value, text size, font family and all. The next is the target, the target text color, if you want to change, you can change it here, 5000 is changed here, I want to keep it black, so rest of the thing is display unit, value decimal, text size and form family is regular, and after that it is colored value, yeah, colored values is the value, it is showing on the center of the gauge, you can also change the color of it. What is the color? Even you can set it to be a condition formatting as well. If the value is less than the target, you can show it red. 
if it is greater than target you can show it on green as well so by default i want to keep it black and the other thing is display unit and value in decimal you can able to change the font here in the color area and after that it is title title also you can keep it dynamic i have made a video about uh, how to set the dynamic titles in the visuals if you haven't seen that just click on the link given on top of your screen so the next is the title and the word wrap font family font background alignment text size after that it is background if you want to make a background you can also keep that with the transparency and lock aspect ratio general you have the positions and then the borders if you want to keep the borders you can keep the borders and it radius as well the next is a tool tip this is a tool tip and you can change the settings as well the actual is 6500 target is 5000 and the first sales person is sam so if you want to change the label you can also change that and as usual the visual headers these are the headers filter and maximize and eclipse icon you have options like export data show as a table remove and spotlight as regular as two other visuals so these are how you can able to use the gauge visual using the dynamic that is data from the database in power bi and you have one more option here like manual in this i have drag and drop only the actual value here the minimum maximum target i have not used here if you have not used here and if you go back to the format tab in this gauge visual here these are the options available here when you drag and drop the minimum maximum target on the fields menu it will be hidden here when you have not used this feature on the fields menu it will appear it here on the format tab in this i used a manual that is a static one that is minimum value is 50 maximum is 6000 and target is 5000 if you select this to each and every sales person then it will show both the data as same whereas if you didn't select any of the sales person and if you look at this one the minimum is 50 whereas here it is shows as 300 because it's inclusive of six sales person so 650 is 300 here and the target is showing 5000 whereas this is target 30000 and the maximum target is 6000 is showing 36000 so this is the drawback between the manual and database here i think with the database it is a perfect one because uh, without selection of the sales person the overall if you look at this one this value is right configured whereas on the static one it is not helpful when we look at the overall picture instead of each and every sales person so this all about the static and dynamic use of gauge visual in power bi and this visual is really helpful and easily understandable by any user with just looking at the output If you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video